Hello everyone, I'm here. I have a new camera. I've had this a while now, so hopefully tonight I can have the two cameras and I'll be able to switch through both of them. So I have my, my main screen here, so I will be like looking backwards and forwards. So I hope everyone's okay. Um, I hope you've all had a really good week. And look, this is my craft room. This is part of my bedroom actually. So this is the, um, the two corners that I have. So um, I might just do a tour sometime it's so messy at the moment so i'm just going to quickly switch the screens now so i can see who's here so if you're on um if you'd like to comment please do come and say hi so i've just ran up the stairs so i'm a bit out of breath at the moment so hi miss golly she's from new zealand hi louise you're here too hope everyone's okay Got Purple K, got Elfie, hi Tina, and the Bloom Crafter. Ah, she's from Arkansas, wow. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of chit chat just to start us off with, and then I'm going to be moving straight into the, um, the tutorial because I'd like to kind of keep it to an hour this time because uh, my family kind of get a little bit exasperated if I go over an hour um, it's kind of a bit of trouble for them to actually stay quiet for a whole hour so um, it's kind of fun actually seeing how long I can make them wait so it's only once a week but yeah last week um, there was no live last week I was absolutely exhausted um, we were doing a lot of garden work last week and we were putting down paving slabs in our back garden and that, that took a lot of our energy so we literally were zombies for about a day after that so that was a lot of um, carrying around heavy paving slabs and we got them all down and my husband uh, Mr G he said right I'm ordering some more now because I want a bigger area I was like oh no <laughs> oh dear you're gonna buy a wheelbarrow for that one because I am not carrying them because we're we're quite away from the curbside so it's a curbside delivery mm-hmm mm -hmm. not doing that again mm -mm. my arms were hurting after that so okay we have a um, hi Simon hope you're okay over there and we have Mary from Ohio there's a lot of um, names, new names and names I recognise as well. So we have, hi Caroline, hope you're doing well. And Parvati, hope you're doing good. Oh, she's from Mauritius. And we have Renate, I hope I said that right. And um, Epic, Egip, Egip Mary Cruz. I think I've said that right. Um, I kind of want to say Epic Mary. It kind of makes me want to say that. So <laughs> I'm sure you are Epic okay so we have quite a good amount of viewers in here now so i am pretty much happy to start um if the, if you join now um you can just replay and this will be available for the replay so let me quickly grab the die set here it is i'm just going to switch screens again so i can actually see what i'm doing here we go so this here this is the starbox gift uh, the starbox die set and it sold out pretty much straight away um, on its launch back in January. So this was part of the Surprise and Delight collection and it appeared on Hachanda. I think it's I think it did sell out. After a few sellouts there wasn't much left on the table so but I did do my five shows still so we still had a few left over. But yep yeah, apologies for the state of my nails as you can see when I'm busy my nails just they're off the chart there there I don't even think about my nails so apologies for that so um, if you're ever wondering how busy I am just check my nails out and you will see it's always the first one to kind of fall off the turntable okay so I'm going to switch cameras now and for my top 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 thing I'm gonna have to sort the lighting out as well um, and then I'll be with you in a moment okay that was pretty smooth okay so we're over to this section now and i'm gonna to have to quickly go over to the comments as well there we go yes i'll, I'll call you mary <laughs> okay um right so i've just noticed there is um a bit of lag but we should be okay, we should be okay. We've just moved over now to the main screen 
and I'm just uh, tidying up here okay so this is one of the star boxes I don't have an example of the main star box because all of my samples are over in Stockport at the moment over at craft stash HQ that's where all of my samples are stored when they're not um, being um, used for display and and things like that for Chanda shows and also for the craft stash live so I don't actually have a large box here with me at the moment I just need to sort my lighting out I tend to use one of these this is a, a lantern thing I just put that on my daylight lamp it diffuses it and it all works out okay so I'm hoping that sorts it if not I'll fix it okay so I've chosen my cardstock already this is going to be made from Centura Pearl from Crafters Companion in Pacific not specific Pacific and I'll quickly show you the um, what I've got left and how I've done it. So I've used a, um, an A4 die cutting machine, which you are going to need for this die because because of the stars quite large. So you need an A4 one for this. So I've got all my side pieces cut out from that one. I think I think I've got one more. I think I've lost one. Yes, because there's only four here. You need to cut five of each side. And then I've cut four of these large stars here as well. So I can cut these off and these can be my leftovers. They can go back into the pack. And I'm gonna try and put this together um, a little bit differently from what I've demonstrated before. So, yes, Louise, yes, it did. It sold out super quick. Ooh. It was quite scarily quick actually, because it all sold out before I could make videos so this is literally my first official star video um, of the main, the big one, on my channel. So we have a few options here as to how we're going to finish off the top of the box. So I have one of my brand new big bow die sets here. Love this with the butterfly. I've been using this for the Craft Stash's fifth birthday celebration. So we have this one here. And there's loads of different things there's different backs here so this is the main die that makes the curve shape there and you can choose to have the butterfly or not and then we have a choice of the two um, backgrounds this one this one is my favorite this one is pretty much um, from my original idea and then we have another one added on there too so that is one thing you can use to finish the top and we also have the ultimate gift bow die set. This was released at Christmas, part of my Christmas collection. And um, this sold out as well, but it's now back in. And I have something that looks like it. <laughs> this is definitely it, but I didn't actually finish this one off. This is actually dusty. It's been collecting dust. Dusty, dusty, dusty. So. I would put another one of these behind it just to make it that little bit extra poofy and squishy but this would also look good on top of the star box as well and we also have this intricate die as well that you can also use that if you don't want to put um, a gift bow on the top as well and I do have a demonstration um, for this star box here with the shutter on there as well this was also a January release so um, this was a really fun one because I had to travel to Ipswich and go to the second craft stash uh, to, um, studio over there where Lou lives so basically that was a lot of fun getting the train there it was like three trains I think it was and then straight away I was another train direct to Peterborough so this is this is what this box reminds me of it reminds me of that weekend so that was a huge weekend for the surprise and delight collection so it's a lovely little studio that Lou has um over over there so that was a lot of fun so there is a tutorial for this on my channel and I've made sure that everything that I'm using today is linked down below including this tutorial so I would like to jump straight into making now because I've been chit chatting quite a while I don't really consider myself as highly social but when I come on here I just can't stop talking <laughs> so I guess I'm enjoying myself okay so I've cut out five of five sides and five of the lid 
this one here is made of two lids so what I'm going to quickly do is I'm just going to grab my bone folder and just fold everything down and I'm going to try and put this together slightly differently from how I've demoed it before so while I'm doing this I'm going to have a quick look through the, um, the comments so yeah please do say hi if you're watching on the replay say hi in the comments you know even though it's not live I do um, keep an eye on the comments I may not be able to reply to every single one of you because I get absolutely loads of comments sometimes more than I can keep up with but um, I do my best to reply to those if you have any questions pop on as well hi pats yes looking forward to this demo so yes this uh, star box is back in stock it came back probably about two or three days ago now so including the shutter the shutter came back in stock at the same time so i was like oh they're all back so i'm just waiting for the doctor's bag i i get emailed almost every day about the doctor's bag when that's going to be back in so um we have got it on order but we're not going to update it on the website until we know it's coming in um because delivery dates are just all over the place at the moment so i am working on the samples for my brand new collection which will be released in about a week's time so i'm really excited about that but i haven't got much time to get all my samples together and sent away um because that shipment was delayed getting to me so we're all frantically making samples at the moment so that is a lot of fun um i wish i could give you some more clues really on what it's about um make sure you're following me on facebook um helen griffin uk and i will be putting on a few sneak peeks a few teasers photographs and things over there on the new collection so make sure that you are following me over there i am on instagram but i don't really post as often on there i really have to kind of choose where i turn up at the moment we're all on lockdown and a lot of people do have extra time but i seem to have less time now now the whole family's home so much more extra housework to do now that everyone is actually home you know there's i'm spending loads more time in the kitchen mm. so which is good i guess i get to do the housewife thing for a little bit longer okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna join all of these together to make a star and then i'll have them all like this and i'm gonna pop in one of the stars in there it'll all come together and then I'll have another star just to cover that so I'm thinking that might be the best way of doing it and I'm just going to say I have a brand new cosmic shimmer I had to order this from Amazon and I'm, sh I'm sure it's still in stock at the moment okay so this cardstock was an absolute nightmare for me to use on her chanda i think it was the the air conditioning and the temperature but the glue was just taking so long to dry and when you're having glue problems when you're live on tv it can be pretty stressful so i very quickly switched over to my glue gun and that worked a treat so nothing like your glue not sticking and not setting under all that pressure but anyway i've lived to uh, tell the tale so yeah louise is saying she can't wait to see them oh, i re i just i have everything here i just really want to show you <laughs> i really do oh dear i'm sure it's in the next few days I think it will be acceptable for me to start showing you a couple of bits and bobs I think it should be okay then okay so I'm still just uh, putting these all together 
does read the comments as well. So yeah, craft zip channel, craft sewing hits and tips. That's a long name. <laughs> so yeah, she's she's bought the uh, suitcase dies, which are amazing to make. Yes, I really love the suitcase dies, and I will let you in a little sneak peek. I have designed something else to go with the suitcase die. It won't be in this collection that's coming out. It will be in the next collection after that. So if you like the suitcase and oh, I almost said it. I'm not going to say it. If you like the suitcase die, then you may just like the additions that will be coming out for it. That's all I can say on that. Okay, so I have this super long line now of all of my stars and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this up like that and then that should close just like that. That's one of the easiest ways of closing something like this, especially with gift bags and stuff. Okay, right, get that glued down. So how is everyone? Write down in your comments how you're doing, what you're doing to kind of keep yourself not getting bored or if there are any big jobs that you are putting off and you've kind of had to do them now that you're in lockdown, let us know. I'd love to know what big jobs you've been putting off. We've put off the garden, which we've now sorted out. I used to be the person that did all the gardening and when I started doing all of this uh, crafting and things like that um, as a job the gardening kind of stopped and then the um, the garden kind of got a bit overgrown so that task has now been fully handed over to Mr G and he's quite enjoying it he's learning about all this gardening things he does ask me a few questions and I do have to kind of say no don't do that don't do that but more or less he's enjoying it he's enjoying the um the extra activity um he's not foot full load or furloughed uh he is working from home still so we're all working from home and helping the kids with the school work which they really don't like so we do let them off every now and then just to, you know, they're not going to get this opportunity again, I don't think, to have an extra long, it's like a super long summer holiday, so they're not going to really have this time again unless this is our new normal. So while this is drying, I'm just doing the lid now. So there's a lot of them. Um, so if you do all of your die cutting at the same time, and then you go ahead and you do all of your um, gluing, it really does speed everything up. And as this has five points, you need to cut five for each side, five sides for each star box. Okay, so Louise is saying she's retired, so lockdown is no change for me, apart from the obvious, but I am on my second album now, I'm planning my third. Oh, that's excellent. I, I'm really glad that you're enjoying the, um, the album making. So Simon saying he always said he didn't have time for housework, pounds out that it wasn't the case. Yeah, I think I'm the same. <laughs> Plenty more interesting things to do than housework. So yes, uh, Spider's Corner saying, fabulous, I've just nipped in from being in the garden all day, planting and potting, can't wait to get in my craft room and have a go. Yes, oh, that's where I've been, I'm ruining my nails. I've been um, sowing seeds today. So um, back in 2012, I bought a secondhand um, greenhouse with the glass, the aluminium, it was like a, uh, how big was it, eight by six? And um, yeah, <laughs> it's taken Mr. G 
all that time to put it together. So it's been half put together for a long time and a couple of weeks ago we finished it all off. We cleaned all the glass, put all the glass in. We finally now have a greenhouse so I'm pretty happy with that. So what I'm doing now is I'm folding these wrong. Let's get these folded right. So I'm trying to create a, the points now so I can slide in the star shape. I'm hoping this is making sense for you. So I've got the joins here on the inside corners. The outside corners there. I think we're almost ready. Okay, so another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these here and just fold them inwards so that we're going to have good contact. There we go. And then I'm going to set that aside. So this is where we need to decide where we're going to put our glue. So are we going to put the glue on the tabs or around the, I think I'm going to go around the outside edge here. Let's do that. And then I shall go back to reading some of the comments because I do like to read the comments. And when I read the comments afterwards, it's kind of too late for me to reply because when I go back to look at the comments again after I finish this, there's so many that I've missed, you know, so I guess that's kind of, that kind of happens when you're concentrating. Okay, so I'm going to slide this in, I'm going to stick that down so it, the first one meets up, there we go. Tuck everything in. There we go. And I think I did get some glue on there, so I'm gonna have to get my baby wipe out and get that. I'm gonna stand up for this. And just try and get everything in place. So this is the really good reason why wet glue is good for this, and this does dry pretty um, fast. So let me just find my baby wipes. Here they are. this handy but away from anything card okay so if you've done this let me know in the comments you've put this down and then your projects touched it and then it's gone all soggy I've done that so many times so I always have to make a mental note put this somewhere where my cards not going to touch it okay so we're gonna do exactly the same for um, this one next but this is the underside it's gone a bit yucky so that's why we have another star just to cover that up. So let's get that glued on. Just look behind me, I heard some noises behind me. I think it might be the cat. Okay, so this is a really, really good size box. It's coming together quite nicely. So let's give you some measurements because I do sometimes get asked for measurements. So it is four inches tall and we'll go from point to point. So it's a good seven and a half, no, seven and a quarter ish. And you can fit some good things in there as well. So it's perfect for a, um, a medley of different gifts if you are kind of like to give different things away. And because it's star shaped, any occasion at all so we've got Christmas birthdays babies anything like that so we're going to do exactly the same here so I'm going to do these where they're joined together they're going to be the inside so I'm just going to fold in all of the joins there inwards this one should be less fiddly actually because um, it's got shorter sides kind of star shaped. There we go and we're going to do exactly the same. I'm just going to add glue to this and then wipe my mat afterwards. Try 
try not to get oh I did get a little bit on there push that in too okay we're good so these are going to make really nice little trays as well for like putting chocolates in you know you can have a nice a nice coffee table out have different um, treats in each one um, especially the wrapped treats okay I've got a wet patch now okay so let's pop that aside so this is going to go on the top and you can just push this in it's squishy so you can just pop that on and there we have the lid there we go I oh I forgot to mention something really important there's currently 20% off my range simply made crafts over at craft stash at the moment um, let's quickly get that poster up so you can have a look at it it's for if you spend over 25 pounds you can claim 20 percent off so let's have a look at that okay so i don't think that there's actually a code i think the the basket in the checkout actually does it for you um, so that's really really handy so now we have a decision to make let's grab the dice set out again I'm gonna move over to comments here because I need your opinions for this ah good Louise I'm hoping you find this way easier it, it, it can get a bit messy but if you're okay with that you're good to go okay so this is going to be the top of the star box there so do we put in the intricate thing i think i will anyway and then i'm going to decide on um at the top i'm go i'm thinking i'm going to go for the butterfly because that is the the newest of the sets that's out so um i'm going to need the die that Sorry if this is really noisy. There we go. I absolutely love this one. It's like a star burst. It's like fire and just that shape. Really like it. Okay, so we're going to pop that on just like so. And behind it, I'm going to have a silver um, background. So we do have two layering stars in this set. We do have two layering in there, so but I'm just going to cut. I think I'm going to go for a smaller one. Make sure there's enough space. There is. Okay. This has been so long since I've played with this. I think it, yeah, I think it was January. Yeah, January. I last played with this. I'm just turning on my Gemini, just grabbing some plates. I have some new G uh, Gemini plates. I had um, a craft stash delivery the other day, so I think one of my next videos is going to be what I bought. Oh no, wrong one. As you can see, these are kind of bent now, so I've done really well with my Big Shot. Here we go. I always keep my Big Shot plates um, flat. They're always flat. My, the key is you have one that cuts one that doesn't cut so as you can see these are completely different and with this one you just flip it every now and then and if you get a, um, to the point where you can push the middle in where it bends in and out all you've got to do is turn it over and carry on and then that will flatten it out so that's how I've managed to keep my big shot um, completely flat and I have had to buy, this is my old one, I have had to buy a new magnetic platform. Now this one was um, um, from Stampin' Up! because they had a partnership with uh, Sizzix uh, a few years ago. So they had this out as the magnetic platform. But one of my magnets in there has actually, it's broken. So I have ordered a new one of these. This is going to be just the Sizzix brand. So I'll include that in my craft haul as well when that arrives. So um, yeah, I don't really want to continue using this with a broken magnet because I don't really want it to, you know, damage something. 
so I'm happy just to put this away as spare but yeah don't drop that on your foot it's really heavy I've done that anyway back to this take this down I like to keep this flat actually while I do this part I'm just going to tape it down in two places and then I'm going to grab some silver should I do silver mirror or silver glitter this pack here this is also from crafters companion i think i'm gonna go for silver glitter because it just it's just nice i'm kind of moving away from using glitter card i mean um mirror card okay so i'm just gonna roughly cut this and i'll be using this as well for the bow let's see if there's room for both i'm not sure We'll see. Yes, there should be. Let's get that tape down. Um, it's really hard to get your tape to stick to glitter cardstock. So I'm presuming my connection's okay. We've had a bit of a funny connection still. It's getting pretty annoying now because we've always had a really good connection. Let's run that through. I've just got my Gemini just here. falls down I'm, I am balancing things so if you hear a big crash bang something has fallen okay so we just pop these out again this is optional you don't have to use this intricate die on there but it does fit perfectly on the top love that okay so let's pop this out as well trying to get into new habits Okay, right here we go, oh, I'm loving how this is turning out, so that's going to go on just like that, that's a really pretty box, and you also get a die, let's grab that, you get a die here that's going to um, give you two choices of matting the sides as well, so I do have something already cut out but the colours aren't going to go, but just to quickly show you, this is one of the mats with the inverted corner and that's going to glue on there. That, that actually doesn't look too bad actually. Okay so it looks like I'm buffering just as I was talking about internet health, internet stuff. We have uh, something happening. I'm hoping you're just getting buffering and that I haven't gone completely. If I'm still here and everything's okay, let me know in the comments. Hoping everything's still okay, so I'm going to start gluing this. Everything seems to go back to normal now. Okay, I always get worried. There was one live stream I did and I just had to abandon it because um, it just disappeared. So I still finished my video, but I had to film it and then upload it. So you did get to see part two. That was the suitcase, I think. Yeah, I think it was a suitcase. Suitcase mini album. So I'm just going to add glue around the outside perimeter here. And little bits of glue here as well. And then I'm going to pop that on. And there we have it. Now that you can use 
on a card that would make a really nice would that fit on a six by six it would fit on an eight by eight card it really would and then just add your sentiment and you also get some other stars in here as well you're a star let's celebrate that is your that is your card done okay so let's get this glued onto the top then we can start on our bow i don't know if the bow is going to look right but if it doesn't look right i'm going to have myself an extra bow for any other project so let's just see how it looks sometimes if you have difficulty visualizing it you just have to audition stuff that's kind of what I do. I just audition it, see how it looks. Maybe come back the next day. Oh, add a bit more glue in the middle. Glue that down. Hoping we're all still good here. Yeah, so Pat saying we're still here, so Spider's Corner can still hear me. It's fine now. Oh, does that mean it wasn't? <laughs> good now. So Loopy saying good now as well. So I must have uh, buffered for a little while there or froze. Okay, so that is the star box pretty much done. If you wanted to stop at this stage, you have a lovely star shaped gift box there. And that just lifts off like that. Or you could make two of these small lids to make the smaller box so let's pop this on so we're going to move over now to the the gift bow let's see how that looks i'm going to make it out of the same um colors so that's not the right one i've made a massive pile behind me is anyone else here a piler where they just, everything just gets piled here we go right so i love this Okay, so all of my die sets come with uh, in a little cellophane bag. You can keep them in there, or you can just tip them all into the uh, envelope. So I'm just going to go for my favourite one. I always just go for my favourite thing. We have that as well. And you get this here, this is going to be the, the centre cover. So I need to put this through in the right the right order. So I want, let's have a look at the cardstock here. So I want this to be the silver glitter. I want this one here to be the main colour. And then I want the butterfly to be silver. And then I will decide, once I've put all that together, what the uh, the wrap's going to look like okay everything's just disappeared in my head what I've just said right uh, silver yes silver yes my brain does do that a lot okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get all this run through my machine at the same time so this die set will fit through a standard sized uh, die cutting machine but because I have the A4 I can just cut out what I need and then run it through here we go oh I've, this is something I've always wanted to do I'm just going to move move back to the other camera There we go, that's what these remind me of. Glasses. <laughs> right, so let's get those cut out. This one's going to be on the, the silver as well so this is quite an intricate one so i may run that through twice yep someone that uh, lou is saying every now and then she has to have a major tidy up 
before we continue. Yes, I need to do that too. I did tidy up about two weeks ago, so I'm generally in a good place. Generally. There's still a bit more that I need to do. Okay, so I still have um, my new printer. I need to do a video for that. It is still, I've unboxed it, but it's still wrapped up in the plastic. It came in and I've pushed it on the shelf where it's going to live and that is where it stayed. So once um, my new collection is all done and dusted, I can then move on with uh, doing an unboxing setup video for you guys on that so I'm looking forward to that and I think I'm going to pop this there oh I've got no more tape I went to reach for it and it's all gone let's do another one there we go okay stay sticking please okay let's run these through put this in there just to keep the uh, the exposure because it gets really really bright if there's nothing in the center so there we have our glasses okay now this one has been cut out from the the glitter this is the non-shed glitter car sock so it has a layer of plastic in there too to kind of keep all the glitter in and I do find sometimes it needs to get run through twice with some dyes but this one seems to be okay so let's uh, let's poke all of this out Okay, so after I've just put this together, I need to plug in my glue gun. So I'm going to have to disappear under my my desk, my table, to plug that in. I think we're going to be good with this one. Hi Anastasia. And yeah, if you are just joining us, this will be available on the replay as well. time consuming but kind of worth it I mean I do have the roller as well but sometimes I'm just going to play Russian roulette with the spike okay so I'm just going to quickly disappear under my table now to plug in my glue gun wires on my microphone is as well so I've got to get this so it doesn't get caught on each other whoops and there we go I've knocked something over so this is what I was doing the other week I was cleaning under my desk sorting out all my plugs there we go we're plugged in now hooray 
that is one thing I do actually unplug is my glue gun I don't leave that switched off and plugged in I I, I disconnect it completely okay right so now that that's warming up it doesn't take long actually this Sizzix one's really good definitely the best glue gun I've ever had anyway I've had a few where they do kind of gloop and don't get a good um, line of glue it is just too thick um, another one that I really like is this um, cordless one you charge it up via USB um, I really do like this one as well it's perfect for travel but um, I need to charge that one that's the only thing okay so let's just move everything aside Okay, so let's get this bow put together. So this is going to be the rounded bit. So we need to hold this here while we curl that round. Just like that. Um, as if you were doing um, curling ribbon. This is just going to stop it from creasing if you try to manually do that. Do hold it again there you might pull it off and rip it so just hold it there and then you can put a bit of extra pressure on that curling there we go so it should look like that now so let's see if this has heated up I have a bit of looping there so it's not completely hot yet so it might just dry before I get that one there okay so what I've done is I've lined those up exactly the same on this one there we go so you should have something that looks like that now and then here we have this base here with the jaggedy edges or you have the choice there of the other one as well this one's my favorite okay so that's going to sit on there oh that's really nice i love that press that down Then what I'm going to do is find the butterfly. So this is what it would look like without the butterfly. So you, you pop this over the front and that is a lovely bow there. You can even cut this, uh, die cut it from vinyl so that you can make a lovely hair bow. So you would glue that onto a hair clip. Um, I have one here actually, something like this. So you glue it onto there and you have a lovely hair clip. So I would probably use a, a vinyl, a thin vinyl or faux, a very thin faux leather type fabric. Okay, so I'm going to pop on the butterfly now. So I'm just going to add a dot of glue just in the center there. And then I'm gonna squish that on. I absolutely love that. That's almost like a, a bridesmaid's hairband, that would. Really nice party hairband okay so that's going to go on there oh I love that that's really nice it does blend in very well so it almost goes invisible but I'm sure if you switch up the colors you can make that a little bit more noticeable so this is a really nice subtle um, theme here so I'll pop some glue in the middle and I'm just gonna pop that on there then we can fold these around so i'm going to fold them around first before i secure with glue there we go just so that i have the fold marks so one more dab here and then one more dab there there we 
we go. Whoops. Okay, so now we can pop that on. So, do I use foam pads to lift it up or do I just go straight on with the glue gun? So I'm just reading some of the comments here. Okay. Decisions. I'm going to glue it on, I think. That's upside down. There we go. If you're wondering what that bang was, that was my back door. I think Mr. G's been out to close up the greenhouse. So we're getting chickens in about a week's time as well. So I'll be able to give you an update on that. So we'll also be going out to shut the chickens away as well at night time. So that's all exciting some exciting things coming up so I'm just going to turn this off now and on this die set let's grab that back out again we have all these extra star dies here that you can cut out I would probably do them from the glitter paper and then glue the stars along there so let's do let's do two panels and I'm going to use my my big shot for that that's kind of like a curvy star so I'm going to go for the stars with the straight edge there we go just looking for my big shot I put it on the floor I am going through twice with this one because it is that non-shared glitter cardstock again and it does need a little bit of an extra punch for uh, the dies to cut it out but that is totally normal with this, this sort of cardstock here. There we go, let's move this aside, put this on the floor again. I'm really running out of space, so I really probably should have another tidy up. Okay, so let's pop this on its side. I'm going to keep the lid on there because I know that um, it's going to... I don't want to stick a star halfway up, so I know where the lid is. So I'm going to probably put a star there as well. So we can put a star down at the bottom. Yeah, I'll probably do something like that. So I'll, I'll, what I would do is I would cut um, an A5 sheet of this glitter cardstock and then just run it through as many times and get as many stars as you can and then just go around gluing them on. So yeah, these, these homemade boxes are absolutely perfect for personalising for the person you're making them for, for the occasion. There we go. So here we have our little butterfly on the top and then we have some stars here as well. And you can even do uh, layer up these stars with um, different colours. I would probably do the second one down out of the main cardstock and then layer it up on this one. So you can really kind of go to town in all your layering and decorating. Maybe even add a strip of this silver across here as well. That would look really nice. It would really split up the box as well. It would look extra special then. But then some of us don't know when to stop decorating, do we? So there's always that. That's kind of one of the hazards of crafting, I think. You don't know when to stop. 
at least it's not underdone that's what I say it's not underdone then if you overdo it just quickly tidying up here so I can sit back down again okay so I'm gonna switch the um the cameras over again so I need to sort out my lighting otherwise you'll be blinded okay so the sun was out it was daytime when I started filming it is now dark outside so I'm just gonna quickly look at some of the comments here I'll switch the cameras over first and hello everyone so I'm back and then I'm going to have a quick look at the comments so what do you guys think of the star? See, do you like the kind of the star box? Do you think maybe um, for the collection, do you think it might need a smaller star? So it's kind of like um, a little set because that's that's becoming quite um, popular with my range now in bringing different sizes out of the same die. Um, it worked really well with the, um, with the ornate gift bag. I think I have it just there behind me. There we go, I have the ornate gift bag. And then I have uh, here I have the smaller one that's and these are all my doctor's bags as well so I need to send those off to Stockport uh, so they can be stored there but I might keep keep one or two for me because <laughs> I really like that bag as well so um, let's have a quick look at the comments now yes perfect girl it's perfect for the 4th of July definitely definitely so Yes, Louise saying she'd love to see my chickens. Yes, I might even go out there and film. That would be really fun. That would be really fun. So we're getting three. We were on. We've been on the waiting list now for about a month. At the beginning of the month, we were ninety-two on the list, and I phoned them up a couple of days ago. I can't remember what day it was. Probably Wednesday or Thursday. I rang them up, and they said we were number eight, which is really good. So. We're really looking forward to it. We're, re we're ready for them. We've got the hen house. It's all ready. We had, we had, we have had chickens before, but the old hen house we had just like left in the back of the garden, and um, it just kind of fell apart. So we've burnt that now. Um, we've bought a new one. We've bought all the food. We're all ready. We just, we just need the chickens, and we need the eggs. The eggs are going to be really good. So, yes, Bianca's saying a smaller one would be nice. I'm thinking I really want to have a smaller version of this box as well. Maybe even two smaller ones. Maybe even one larger. I don't know if that would actually fit um, on there. So I'm thinking two smaller ones would be really nice. And then you can make a lovely um, stacking trio of, of star boxes. That would look really nice, I think. So... Um, just reading some of your comments again. So yes, Anastasia, thank you. And she really likes the star box. So if you do want to get started on Christmas, now is the good time to kind of get ahead, I guess. Um, I will be doing my Christmas in July series, but I'm still finishing off my 12 days of Christmas from December. So I think we're on episode nine now so that's only three more to go so for next saturday i'm gonna need your help in deciding what to make because just thinking it's round about the time that we're going to be launching my new collection so do you want a tutorial next week next saturday night or would you like a full blown on um collection release I probably won't have a lot of the samples with me. That's the only problem. I will be able to show you the die sets and if probably a few samples because a lot of the samples will already have been sent off. So it won't be that exciting. It'll be just the die sets. I mean, I will, I will have photographs to show you to go along with them and perhaps maybe a few of the samples. I can, I can always make up a, a few more, but one of them is quite time consuming. Um, for one of the die sets I really wanted to design something 
that you can get your teeth into so it's not a quick make but it's an accomplished make after you've made it and you look at it and you think wow I made that so there is that um, so I will be making a tutorial on that so I will see how it goes um, if I get a huge response on a collection launch video for the live on Saturday night next week let me know um, if not it will be um, a normal tutorial maybe a mini album or something like that so Simon saying sounds like you have to do two videos mm. a lot of people are saying collection collection yes new collection I'm thinking that's gonna be okay so I should I should be able to do that um, we will be relying on a few photographs that's that's the only thing I'm saying um, but I guess I could maybe do a small tutorial on one of the sets perhaps maybe we shall see we shall see how it goes so I'm looking backwards and forwards here I'm sure it looks a bit weird a bit weird my left side no, my right side is not my best side. My left side is better than my right. That's what people tell me anyway. So. Okay, so I have gone a bit quiet. I'm reading all of the, um, the comments here. New collection, new collection. The only thing is, if I show you the new collection, you won't be able to buy it. Uh, until it goes live on Craft Stash. So I may be showing you before it's live. Um... I will have to double check if I can actually do that, whether that's going to be teasing too much or whether I can actually do that or not. Ooh, decisions, decisions. Because one thing I don't like doing on my channel is to show off die sets that you can't actually buy or any sort of product, you know. Look at this lovely product. You can't buy it though. You know, that's one thing I try to avoid. You know, so um, there is that. So I will... I will do my best to get everything timed. Um, one thing I can do um, is I can change when I go live. Um, so I can completely skip the Saturday night live and I could probably do um, a Monday night, Monday evening. I can do a complete live then. The products will be live on the Craft Stash website, but there may be a possibility that some of them will be sold out so oh decisions decisions so i'm thinking my other option is to pre-record and then do a, a, a pre-recorded video release sunday morning not tomorrow next next sunday so i could possibly do that as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to weigh up all my options and see where we go from there really I think definitely so um, so Louise is saying she's happy with either I know as long as you get to see it as long as you get to see it you'll be all, all be okay so yes Simon do I want to make two videos especially of that nice big project I don't know I guess I, there's a quite a bit of die cutting there's a hint there's a bit of die cutting a bit of preparation work for that, but I do have children I can bribe to do the die cutting hmm that's interesting so they might work for sweets maybe even some pocket money hmm. they, they play Roblox maybe I can t tease them with a voucher I don't know can you even buy Roblox vouchers anymore don't know can you order them online I haven't tried so anyway I'm rambling on now so I'm going to um, have a little think about next week's videos there's a complete um, simply made crafts thing the last this week and next week definitely with the new launch and with the 20% uh, the off deal I put the poster back up Okay, so there's the poster there. So there is 20% off at the moment. That ends tomorrow, the 17th of May. Um, BST, that will be British Standard Time. S uh, summertime, sorry, British Summertime. Some people say standard, some people say summer. I think it's 
summer, British summertime, because it changes in the summer. Um, so that will stop 12 a.m. 12 p.m. Midnight, midnight on the 17th, which is which is tomorrow. So if you're watching on a catch up, you'll just have the rest of the day that you're watching it to order that. Um, I think I've said everything now. Just going back to the comments again because I keep having to switch everything on. So Anastasia's asking, are my dice sets sold on crafting companies' website also? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I get that question. Are your dice sold on crafting companies' website also? Do you mean other other people's websites? Um, I think there's a couple of other websites um, in the US that have that, that carry the Simply Made um, collection, but um, I don't think they would carry the whole choice, if that makes sense. So Pat saying, photos are good, don't tire yourself out. Yes, it's going to be, with the launch, it's very, very tiring. Um, but the good thing is, there's no traveling this time. The traveling tires me out more than actually making the samples. So having to make the samples and the travel, that is pretty tiring. It takes me about a week to kind of get over that. So um, there's none of that this time. So um, it's literally just making all the videos for it. So I can't, I can't moan about that. That's, that's really good. I can just, you know, <laughs> stay at home in my craft room and um, yeah, just make all the videos. So that, this is my craft room. It's not a dedicated room, it's also my bedroom, which bed's behind me there. So what I did was I took over this side of my room. Look at this, this is a TV there, I've got my cricket there. Right up to the rafters of stuff. Stuff, I've got more stuff here, so. Got my computer there, my monitor. Let's move everything back. There we go. Try to do that as smoothly as possible, but that is my crafting area at the moment. So, oh yes, yeah, so she meant crafter's companion. No, um, I don't. That we we don't actually supply to them. So I don't know if that's something that could happen in the future. I don't know. Um, craft stash do um, deal with all of that. So. I, I'm in partnership with Craft Stash, so we, we work together on Simply Made Crafts. So, so Simon's saying, great video, good luck with bribery. It normally works, normally works, it normally works. So that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to have to go now because the family got a takeaway while I was filming this and I know it's arrived. And I know that there's a box with my name on it. So I have ordered chicken strippers, like the breaded chicken strippers with potato wedges, barbecue dip, garlic and herb dip. And I told them, save me, save me some barbecue chicken wings as well. So I know that those are downstairs waiting for me. And if they are cold, I will just, I'll just put them in the oven and reheat it. I'm fine with that. So. I'm going to be off now <laughs> to eat my food and enjoy the rest of my evening. So I really like, enjoy these live videos and I, I felt really bad missing last week's one. So I'm going to try not to miss any more. So I'm really happy that the internet stayed okay. And for the next week, I'm head to the desk, making all the, more of those samples. Oh no, not Domino's. No, we went for perfect pizza. Went for perfect pizza. So, uh, it's a little bit cheaper. Domino's can be quite expensive even with the deals, but big but here. I absolutely love the chicken strippers and potato wedges meal from Domino's. Major favourite, major, major, major favourite. And also their dips are heavenly. Their barbecue and their um, garlic and herbs. I once walked into Domino's and I bought a massive carrier bag full of their dips. They looked at me so strange. They really did. <laughs> it was it was fun to do, and it took me ages to work my way through those. So I'm really happy that I had them. So 
that was a good few years ago now okay so um, if you have any questions um, leave them in the comments after this has gone live now so um, you can always contact me via email which is Helen Griffin UK at gmail.com you can visit my website www.helengriffin.co.uk and the place where I hang out the most and where you can contact me the best is on Facebook which is um, Helen Griffin UK on my, that's my Facebook page and you can message me on there as well so um, every every day I go through all of my messages on there and if I have unfortunately missed one of your messages just send it again um, sometimes I do get a message and it's been there for a couple of weeks it's got to that point where I'm thinking it's too late for me to kind of like reply now so just send it again um, and I will do my best to get back to you on that okay so I hope you all have a really really good evening um, I'm gonna go and pop off and get my food now so thank you ever so much for joining me give me a thumbs up if you like this one and don't forget the 20% off it ends tomorrow so thank you everyone for joining me today and I will see you all again very 